Hello everybody and welcome to Freaking Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to create a seamless or infinite looping or however you wanna call it texture. Um, for making this you're gonna need Adobe Photoshop because it's the software that uh, I will be using. Uh, I developed this technique because uh, one of my subscribers asked me for making him an intro with my um, Neon City project. Uh, now that I'm saying this, uh, I invite you to go to my to my page on Facebook, you just have to type Defrikani and just in case you want me you want me to make an intro for your YouTube channel, whatever, just send me a message and you can let me know. Um yeah we didn't have a fun for this uh for this scene so I had to be the fun. Um we had a lot of fun in this funny scene. Okay enough. So <laughs> we'll go to Photoshop and I have here this um this texture that uh, that is it isn't seamless because uh, I had to make here this sky that you can see over here. I had to make this sky and I didn't find any seamless sky texture that I liked, so I had to make my own. So after a little bit of digging in Photoshop, I found out this technique that is really cool and probably you're gonna like it if you're looking for a way of making seamless or infinite looping a texture. So first of all, you want to go to Filter, Other, and then click on Offset. And you will see that the edges will move. What you want to do is, you want to take the edges right at the center of the screen. I mean, not right at the center, but you know, close to the center, as close to the center as possible. So that we can remove them, and it will, will make a seamless texture. We will click OK, and now we want to get this tool that it's called a uh, Clone Stamp Tool. You choose it, and first we have to, uh, well, you, you can choose the size you know you're going to use. I'm going to use this, this one because it's pretty big and this will for sure remove the texture. So I'm going to Alt click first here because when you hold alt and click you're selecting what are you going to clone so well maybe I'm going to click here because it's a little bit darker area than here so I alt and click here then I go up and now I can click here and start removing my background I mean my background my these edges and um, you can see that here we have right this uh this edge around here is because we took we took the when we pressed alt we did it like this it was too close to the bottom so we I'm going to take it around here okay alt click yes and now it doesn't have any kind of of limit or edges or whatever um we can do the same way the same thing here for taking this uh, vertically so I'm going to alt click around there and then I'm going to remove the seam here now if you want to to keep um, how can I explain this uh, if you want to fade a little bit more you can take this the I don't know how do you call this in English but anyway, the second one, not the opacity, the second one. You can just put it down a little bit more. Select around here. And just put. Just make something like this, you know, so that, so that it fades, it fades more. So um, this is the technique for making a seamless texture. But uh, this works only for skies and you know wide textures. What happens if you have um, some very detailed texture like this one, like uh, la like bricks? Well, first of all, you want to take this size down. You want to get closer. And this will be a little bit harder to do because 
you will have to take for example here alt click around there and start making texture like this click here well alt click somewhere around I was too close around there so you know you need a lot of patience for making this especially if you want to make a seamless texture that is like this one that is uh that has like a lot of details you have to select for example here all right I'll run here so this is how you make a seamless texture, but obviously I'm not going to do the whole thing. This is only for showing you how to make it. Now it's up to you that you take your um, your texture and you start trying. How are you going to make everything and so And again, I invite you to check my, my uh, Facebook page if you're interested in um, having myself for you know making yourself an intro or if you want any tutorial that I you can, you're not able to find my channel or on YouTube you can ask me through a message here on Facebook or down in the comments and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial that you found it helpful and I really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya